Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Kevin Jones and this is the Beginning Hunter video series here on YouTube. My goal with this program is to educate and inform you on everything that you will need to know about becoming a new hunter. Um, wanted to uh, make a quick note on the beaver tail final attack um, boat. So I bought one this year uh, used and um, I wanted to note a couple things, um, but in particularly I wanted to detail um, the paddle that you'd really actually need for this thing. Um, so I had, I ended up buying, I think it's a seven foot kayak paddle. Um, I bought it at a sporting goods store because it's in the middle of winter and I couldn't really, I, I tried to order a couple offline, some nine foot kayak paddles, which, um, I would have probably preferred probably the nine foot, um, over the seven, but the seven's working just fine. Um, but the reason why you need something so, such a wide and long paddle is because the sides of this boat are so far apart. It's like four and a half feet like a solid four feet um, from side to side so you really have to be able to get over the sides of that um, but the reason I would choose a nine foot over a seven is just because the amount of water that collects on your paddle I have had issues with um, if I'm like sitting down like this and paddling through with my kayak paddle I'm, I get quite a bit of water inside the boat I'm trying to avoid that um, another way you can opt to um, push this thing is with an electric motor so you can get like a Minn Kota trolling motor is what a lot of folks will do um, I've read and studied quite a bit on that and it seems like a lot of folks are just saying like look if you're gonna get one get the 55 pound thrust uh, motor and wire it to obviously a battery and you'll be good to go so I don't know I haven't put anything on it yet I'm really thinking I'm gonna go with this last route which is putting a mud motor on it so mud motor is essentially a motor right with a long tail and a propeller at the end so it's like this long piece of metal per se that will allow you that when the water's like this it allows you to really just put the tip of the blade directly on the top of the water and push your boat that way right so normally with other outboards it goes like inside the water right and it pushes it from below but really you just, all i would want is just to put it barely in the water so it would push the boat further and forward which allows you to access places that have a really shallow amount of water um, which is what this boat's kind of designed to do so those are your three options you can just use a kayak paddle again a seven or nine foot you can link up a like a Minn Kota trolling motor it's recommended at 55 pounds um, and then last would be like a mud motor or you could I guess just go the outboard route if you wanted to um, so those are those are my uh, my three thoughts again I'm thinking mud motor I don't know. We'll see what we do. Um, one thing to note, too, depending on your state, is that they do require you, like here in Oregon, if you put a motor on it, you have to license the boat with the Oregon Marine Board. So there's more fees. There's like another like $85, $110 somewhere in there to get this thing licensed. But I don't know. I'll keep. I'll get, get, you guys, get you guys an update as this season wraps up and as I head into the next season, kind of what I plan to do. Um, let me know if you have a boat uh, similar to this, maybe a kayak that you've somehow transformed into something a little different. I'd love to hear the, uh, the thoughts in the comments. If this uh, video is helpful to you, consider hitting the like button. If this is extra helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.